Welcome back to the channel, guys. I haven't posted anything about having a boat. This is like the very first time I'm actually posting anything about my boat back in my hometown. So I've been hanging out here, been keeping me here in Pennsylvania a lot longer than I ever expected to. Get on the boat, let's go. Got this thing loaded down, turbo fridge, giant power station. It's the F2000 by Anchor Solix. And right now they're offering $400 off and up to $79 cash back if you order before September 7th. I have a link in the description of this video, check them out. But I'll introduce more on this power station a little bit later in this video all the essentials, everything you need, except for the weather. The weather today is not ideal, but we are taking the boat from where I live, far from the city, all the way down to the city via the river. And we have to go through two dams. There's a giant country concert that we're not going to, but we're gonna park on the river outside of the country concert. Let's cruise down to the city and see what we get into. So let's untie this bad boy and get going. You can barely see it. We have to cruise really slow out of this entire river because it's no wake zone. You can't go fast and make a bunch of waves that rock these boats around. And as soon as we get to this train bridge right out here, then we can go fast all the way to the city. what the deal is with this boat. So somehow it's sunk right here on the dock. There's still like reclining chairs in it. There's a life jacket hanging out of the window. Probably a lot of stuff still left inside there. It's kind of creepy. The whole steering assembly like came off of the roof and fell down to there. Perfect. We made it to my first pit stop. This is my local hometown spot that I used to jump all the time back in the day. Some of my first YouTube videos are at this spot. And we came down maybe a couple weeks ago. This whole place was just completely trash. So we came down, cleaned up all the bags of trash, made this place a little bit cleaner because some people have been coming down here and just throwing parties and just leaving all their trash all through the woods. They had it all thrown way back all over the bushes back there. Shame, makes me so mad. Yeah, we had a trampoline on top of here. We had a DJ and we had 43 boats show up at this spot forever ago. It was, it was so, so much fun. Pit stop near our little beach and it's back on the river. After the giant party we had here a long, long time ago, the railroad company brought a barge down and marked everything private property, no trespassing, no jumping, no diving. That's my bad. Zephyr, Central Western Breeze. My name is Zephyr. Zephyr, it's a good name. Which means Central Western Breeze. <laughs> this is from one of my very first YouTube edits I've ever made. I'll pop up a clip of it. Pretty, oh, someone put a swing in there? Who the heck is getting in that swing? But you climb up this one and then you walk across the beam and then you can climb up here and jump. How are you gonna get on that? I got you. Let's see how deep it is here. 15 feet, 13, 12. Yeah, so everywhere you land is gonna be like 12 feet. I'm gonna come out and join you. I have to go to the spot for old time's sake. Oh man, I haven't been here in so many years. <laughs> that is crazy that that's working right now. I'm very surprised you trusted that. Gotta make it over there. Oh. <laughs> this is such a funny shot. Oh man, it's been so long. Like these look like the ones that they're like, definitely don't use them for load bearing or it's, like a little it's <laughs> such a sketchy structure. I've never felt so safe and sketchy. Here comes the barge that we just passed. Dude, look at the water. Well, I guess I gotta send it off the top of this thing for old time sakes from my YouTube edit 15 or 16 years ago. Spot. It's probably 
like 17 years later, still got it. It's not that old yet. The F V not only gets cool camera shots, it depth checks for you. No hard to push. Too sketchy to make that gap. So I'm gonna try to get up in this room. Oh boy. Jump this spot for as long as I can remember when I was like 15 years old. It's finally time. Let's get it. I gotta throw you guys down first. Bro. <laughs> that was so sick. Sick. Dream come true, buddy. Yeah, how was it? <laughs> Bigger than I thought it was. Dude, that felt huge. The jump felt great. The landing did not. Hold for the signal lockage. Yeah. I survived. <laughs> <laughs> the first dam just opening the doors for us now. We're going through this one, then they gotta raise the water, then we'll go out the other side, and then we have to go through one more of these, and then we'll be in Pittsburgh. go at the first lock. I haven't done this in a long time and we got in trouble for no life jackets. And I don't know, this guy was all mad at us. But we did it. We just gotta go on the other side and threw one more. Open it up. I think I'll We're already at the next dam. It's a really short distance to get from one to the other. We radioed up and they told us that they're gonna take us on the port side. We weren't sure what that was. <laughs> I, sh I should definitely know that owning a boat. So we had to ask Siri what side the port side is and it's the left side of the boat. For any of you people that were curious, for you boat people, don't worry about it. Don't, don't judge me. American Heritage, I believe. I'm a down together uh, 1400, so we'll uh, kind of play that one by. Going through the second lock right now. Look at this. Swampy, gross mess going by. There's like a whole tree over there. All of this, just for our little boat to go through. And after this, we'll be in the city. One lonely person on the balcony <laughs> on like the third story or fourth story. All the wall spots along the entire stadium area of Pittsburgh are all taken. So we just finagled this little zone tied to this. And then we also tied the front of the boat to this railing here. Boom, and we snuck this little sneaky spot right here. It's not too bad, it works. Well, we finally made it to the city and we somehow silly got this wall spot. But we've had this fridge keeping all of our drinks and snacks cold this whole time, all powered by 
the Anchor F2000. Big thank you to the sponsor of this video, Anchor Solix. They sent out the F2000 for this trip. It has been powering everything for us. We have the night light on just because I think it looks nice. We currently have an Insta360 charging, two GoPro batteries, three drone batteries, two iPhones, and it's also running this massive refrigerator. And it's been running this since we left for at least five hours at this point. Right now we're working with 89% left. This thing has been awesome. It's helping me out big time on this trip because my boat only has one cigarette lighter port on it, which would have definitely not charged everything we needed. This big old baby's got a TT30R. So it's got a 30 amp plug you can plug an RV into. If you're cruising out in your RV, plug your whole system in and power everything just from this guy right here. And you might be like, Brandon, wait, it's so hard to get that big giant heavy thing around. Just wait. It's got these wheels on the backside and it has their patented easy toe handle. So you just little push that button pull it out and you can wheel it around. Super easy to carry around. I have another one similar to this from another company, but you can only carry it from both sides. You just have to lug this 60 some pound thing around. This one's really nice because you just wheel it around like a suitcase. It makes it way more convenient. If you guys are interested in one of these big beefy boys and you order before September 7th, they're offering $400 off and also up to $79 cash back. It's 5% cash back on any orders up until September 7th. So if you click the link in the description of this video for the next four or five days, they're offering that fat discount. So check them out. Anchor Solix. They make great products. Full unibody design, which is impact proof, drop proof, flame retardant too. So if you're doing some crazy stuff, this thing's gonna handle everything for you guys. I also keep this little mini shop vac on my boat to clean up all the dirt and everything that gets thrown everywhere in here. We have one, two, three, four, five, and the fridge, six. Six things charging right now, plus the light on there, and then <laughs> super high amperage shop vac going at the same time. I still think. It's only pulling 718 watts. This thing can handle a lot more than that. Even though this thing is so gigantic and can power so many things, it has what they call hyper flash technology. So you can charge the entire thing from zero to 80% in just an hour. Usually is the biggest question that I get from a lot of people is how long does it take to recharge these things from zero to hundred? And there you go. These things charge super freaking fast. So check them out. If you need something that can power a backup system at your home, or if you go camping or some road trips, anything, check them out. But we're gonna get back to boating and explore in the city. We might actually go jump off this bridge real quick. There's a million people walking across it and it just seems too perfect to not jump off of. So might go do that real quick. Can you film a video of me real quick? It's already recorded. It's just for a TikTok. Okay. I hope you don't. Oh God, he really did. <laughs> Gunner just pulled these out of the trash. What does it say? We fallen for Wallen. Oh my god, that's the cutest thing I ever saw. Alright, Steven, you need one. What's yours? Wallen 98? More Morgan, you're <laughs> We we should have come with a warning. Oh god. Somebody's problem. <laughs> Can you hold the one that says we should have came with a warning with you bought with you both? Oh, see these yeah, signs, see these? we made these signs. What do you think about these signs that they made? Pretty nice. <laughs> do you think you guys could take a picture of both of us and all of us on the boats? Of course oh, we can. Yeah. I'm going to get, do you want just vertical? Hey. Front and center, let's go. Front oh, 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 oh my gosh. Wait, wait. Hey. Look at those angles. She's going to be
concert's over. We tried to sneak into it and we didn't make it, but Steven did somehow sneak past like numerous sets of security and he made it all the way to the front row of the concert. Here's a couple clips of him in there. I stuck in. Extremely sad and disappointed in myself that I didn't make it in. You win some, you lose some. Stadium right there. Steven's on his way back. And now we gotta cruise back through two dams, lots of river. Hope we don't run out of gas and get all the way back to where I'm from, way outside of Pittsburgh. So, gonna get that journey underway. Catch you guys soon. Mission failed. We almost made it. I made it. I made it in. Shut up. No, he didn't. Check out the footage. There's no footage. He didn't do it. <laughs> Hey, I have a 21-foot pleasure boat looking to lock down river through Emsworth. All right, Cooper, we're going to get that small chamber ready for you, the one on your left-hand side. Once we get those gates open and you hear the two whistles, uh, you can make your approach. We're going to catch your lines on the right-hand side. Uh, until then, just stand by right there where you're at now. Roger.